I think if you were to take somebody from, let's say, two or three hundred years ago in a time machine, bring them forward to now, they would be quite shocked by the lack of birds and the lack of bird song that we see generally in the Irish environment. My name is Niall Hatch and I'm Head of Communications and Development with Birdwatch Ireland. Here at the East Coast Nature Reserve, the bird song is fantastic, but it would have been a few generations ago you would hear this in your own garden, in your own town, your own village, your own farm. Uh, bird song was everywhere. There are several ways that climate change is having an impact on the birds that sing in the dawn chorus. Uh, the first is that many of the birds that sing, and some of our finest singers, are migrants that spend a lot of their year in sub-Saharan Africa or the Mediterranean Basin, areas like that. So the chiff chaff that I'm hearing behind you there at the moment, uh, that's a bird that will have just migrated up from the Mediterranean. Uh, for swallows are coming in now, we're seeing them around us. Um, birds like the cuckoo, another one of these migrants, we're seeing that they're being very badly impacted by climate change. Uh, we're surrounded by a flower here called the cuckoo flower. It's still common here in the fields. It, it's called that name because it blooms at the time when the cuckoo sings, but there's no cuckoo in this dawn chorus anymore. There's quite a few different species that are unrelated to each other, but what they have in common is that they're migrants that cross the Sahara and feed mainly on insects, and they seem to be the ones that are doing the worst. Um, so a bird like the willow warbler still remains a common bird here. We have them in the East Coast Nature Reserve. There's one literally singing just as I said that. Uh, but what's happening is we're seeing that the range of this species in Europe is shifting. We're seeing it with many different species, actually. There's a sort of a line of, of population density that's shifting to the northwest. And it's the same for all of these trans-Saharan migrants. And what's happening is eventually that line will be in the Atlantic Ocean where there's no food for those birds, there's no nesting habitat. It's just showing that climate change really is the main driver there. The fact that many different species, unrelated, but suffer the same sort of environmental pressures are being impacted in the same way. I've been watching birds all my life. I'm obsessed with them, I absolutely love them. And the changes that I have seen and heard over the course of the last few decades really, really concern me. Uh, and the thing as well is that we all remember what it was like when we were children, but that, but that, uh, that baseline is shifting. There is something about birdsong that speaks to the soul. Uh, it's very good for mental and physical health. It's, it's a sign that all's right with the world, that the seasons are changing as they should. Um, but the fact is so many people don't hear it anymore or hear a pale imitation of what it is and take that as being normal.